Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of um, A Day in the Life with Vibe with Mommy. Love to have you here. We are on a beautiful lake right now on our new stand-up paddleboard. Check it out. It's the one from Costco. It's brand new. It's so beautiful. We have our life vest. Don't worry. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. Um, it's much wider than the other one, so now now we can both be on here very comfortably. But um, I, for this episode, I wanted to just do kind of like a quick like question and answer with my friend here, with my step <laughs> my step friend my my step friend here. I'm like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> my step we're going down. And um, I'll just have him kind of ask me questions that he thinks I might you know be interested in answering, and also that you might be into, and also you know, honestly that I love to answer. So shall we? Breath. Oh, and we just finished filming a scene out here, by the way. It came out beautifully. Anyway, okay. Question one. Should, should we have dating? Life Do you have a particular subject? No. Okay. What has been your... Okay, hey Molly, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing three things at once right now. Okay. Let's stop paddling. Just, just, just let it turn. Yeah. All right, so what's been your most recent um, revelation and how's that affecting you? Recent revelation, just like about, probably just about life in general, right? Yeah, like what's the most kind of like touching subject for you on your head? Okay, so I've recently discovered that I am incredibly uh, self-centered. No way. <laughs> like super self-centered. And to be like completely like raw and authentic right now, it's actually really hard for me to like be there for other people. But I'm finding out it's because I don't want to let people down. So I don't make commitments because I don't want to let people down. I don't feel like I'm good enough to like help others. So I don't even offer to help. So now I'm kind of like rewriting that part of my story in my head and like, dude, I have a lot to, to offer. Like I have a lot of messed up stories and I think those stories are the things that those are our gifts to the world. Because when we share those stories, we help other people. And, um, oh, oh my God, we're looking, that's so awesome. There's a little island. <laughs> Question number two. Question number two. Excited to do the Forerunner build? Oh my God, no. <laughs> he wants to do a, he wants to do a, a like a show on, on a rebuild of a Forerunner. He's like, yeah, you can be a part of it and we can rebuild this car. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't think of anything like So how is it dating a man? <laughs> so how is it dating a man? Dating men? Okay, well, that's a great question since we just asked you that question. Um, men, some men I've dated are like really into talking about their feelings. And some men I've dated aren't like you. And it's a little frustrating because I love to talk about feelings and like what's going on in each other's heads and what we're thinking about things like all the time, like even tough questions about like, you know, relationships with each other um, and other people and like if we're attracted to others and yada, it's okay, just, just like let us hit the rocks. Um, but I love men. I usually date a lot of men that have like a lot of handyman skills since I'm not very handy. I need a guy that knows how to like fix things around the house, fix cars. Um, so for me, that's like something important. I also like to laugh at men. So I need a guy with a good sense of humor. Next question. Get warmed up now. But... It's a real reason to date older women. Ooh, like experience. a real reason. I mean, like g genuine experience. Like to have someone that. It's okay, just, let's go. just don't want to go in there. Like, sounds oh, like the gross, gross part. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. oh, do, oh, did you want to go to the gross place? Is that is yeah. that normally I what mean, you want to do? Gross. Yeah. We all know I'm gross. Okay, here. How about all Um, a real reason to date older women. Experience. Experience. Hands down. Like to date someone that can show you like a bunch of new stuff that you've never tried, take you to places you've never been to, help you out like financially and like honestly like figure out your life in general. I think that's like a real big benefit to dating an older person is that they have just a lot more life experience than you. They can teach you a lot of things that you've never done. And that's, yeah, yeah, Trump. experience. So I have two more questions now. How is it getting, so like you, you have, I, you get recognized almost everywhere we go now. Mm -hmm. And like we calculated that like 25% of all men 
generally speaking, probably know who you are. <laughs> yeah, we have like a collective over 300 million views now on our stuff. So. Have you gone into a store recently in the past like two days where someone hasn't recognized you or at least no. like you didn't sense that? No, like every day now. Every day, every time I go out anywhere, it's like I get at least one or two people coming up and saying what's up. Being like, oh, I've seen, I've seen your videos, I've seen your TikToks, big fan. Just want to come say hi. Uh, I get a lot of looks. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I'm like, oh, do they just find me like a trip? Do they just find me attractive? Um, or I can always tell when you know me because you kind of go like this. And then you just don't look away. <laughs> it's, pretty, like, I'm, it's pretty clear that I feel like you know me at that point. Uh, but yeah, I get recognized everywhere now. It, it's good. I like it. I, I, I enjoy it. So. What happened at the comedy show recently that was pretty funny? Oh, my. we went to this little comedy show, guys. This little open mic night. And I think I'm going to go to this open mic night, by the way, next week and do a stand-up comedy bit. I have no idea how to do it. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to bomb. But so I got recognized by quite a few of the people at this comedy show. And then this one really, you know, kind of out there guy who was, you know, a little out of his mind <laughs> was, um, oh, yeah. was, uh, Get us out of here, yelling man. at me. He was yelling at me. Like, yeah, you got like, he, he was thought, within he was like all six, my seven he was inches. commenting on my arms and how buff I was. He's like, your arms are so big. Why are they so big? And then he was like, and then he said a really inappropriate word over and over and over again while he's just staring at me and screaming because I think he recognized me. Because he said a word that I'm known for. We're not saying the word on here. We can't. But uh, you're forgetting like the context. What? He was just super. He was out of his mind, and, and he definitely start, He definitely registered, I think, who I was, and he just started yelling a certain word at me, and I was like, all right, we're going to go, but I will be back next week, because <laughs> I loved it. I'm like, I'm going to go bomb a comedy show, so I'm going to get into stand-up comedy, guys, probably. I'm probably going to take a class and see where it goes, just for funsies, honestly. And um, I think it's great. I think we got it. Thank you so much, guys, for for being a fan, for sticking around, for watching the videos, and for watching these YouTube videos, and like, give me some ideas for YouTube. We're kind of struggling with the channel, not really sure where to go with it, but I love doing these. So any any input, good or bad, is appreciated. I absolutely love you. And don't forget, mommy loves you very much. I'm always here for you. And please go, you know, find me on my other sites if you're interested. Vibe with mommy. Love you guys, and um. We'll be making another video very soon. Over and out. <laughs> She's in love with the idea. Do I have to help? Yeah. Can I just put like grease on my face and like little shorts and I just pretend like I help? You're gonna crack a bolt. <laughs> okay, we're, we're doing this because Baba Noodles wants to do it. We're gonna do it his way. Finally, I'll be. I'll be agreeable for once in my life. It's like being with Rick, guys. It's like I get like one, I get like one mission every Morty. ten. Oh, Morty, we're not doing it that way. We're going up to the spaces. How come your journeys are always lame? <laughs> All right, cool. All right, we're going.